Welcome to Shuey's Barbecue. Well, you'll learn the tips and tricks to master your grill. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to correctly set up the JG Barbecue offset plate for low and slow barbecue. Now, if you do like this video, don't forget, give me the thumbs up, share it with your mates. The best thing you can do is hit the subscribe and the bell buttons, and that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So, let's get into it. Using the JG Barbecue Offset Plate in your Weber for low and slow barbecue is going to take your barbecue game to the next level. I start off by filling the cavity with briquettes and then from one end I'm going to take eight of them out and put them into a chimney starter and light them up. Alright, our lit briquettes are ready to go back in now. Now I know a lot of people out there worry about putting hot briquettes or charcoal up against the porcelain in their Weber. We're only using a small amount, so there's no danger of actually dam damaging that porcelain. And if you're going to bank a whole lit chimney full of hot charcoal or briquettes, it's recommended even by Weber to use those charcoal baskets to keep the charcoal off that porcelain. But we're not doing that today, we're doing low and slow. So, the best way I recommend doing it is always use an old pair of tongs. That way you can place these in exactly where you want them. And we want them to go back into the spot we've taken them out of, because this is going to act as a fuse as that charcoal or the briquettes burn across. I like to use a foil tray with the JG barbecue offset plate, whether it just be to catch the drippings from the meat or to create a nice steamy environment to help that bark form on whatever we're cooking. Um, what I will do though is when I place uh, the tray in, uh, I'm going to use warm water as opposed to cold water. That way I'm not absorbing heat off the fuel source and also the JG barbecue offset plate. Okay, briquettes don't add any smoky flavour, so the only way to get that is by adding wood chunks. So we'll put our grill on, and we're gonna put about three wood chunks on. Uh, two chunks are gonna go over the unlit charcoal, leaving gaps. Um, the wood ignites and burns a lot hotter and quicker than the briquettes will, so by putting them together, you're actually forcing the fuse to burn at a quicker rate. So just spread them out and we'll put one piece uh, just where that lit charcoal meets the unlit charcoal, just to get that start of the fuse and that smokiness going. Okay, the last thing we've got to do is put the lid back on, making sure the uh, lid vent is on the opposite side of where our heat source is. This is going to draw the heat and that smoke across our food. Uh, we want to open up all the vents. Uh, let's rise that, get that temperature rising. Um, I'm aiming for 120 degrees Celsius today. Uh, once the uh, temp gets around that 100 degree mark, is when I'm going to start closing down my bottom vent, okay? And we want to stabilise it. Remembering the JG barbecue offset plate's going to absorb a lot of heat, and it takes a little while just to stabilise. Okay, and if we need to make some minor adjustments, again, we're just going to be using the bowl vents, and I'd only do it in increments of about an eighth, um, and um, and give it 30, 30 minutes for that to uh, settle before you make any more sort of uh, movements. But the best way for us to judge our temps is you really need to go out and get yourself an ambient temp probe, and these just clip onto your grill, so you're reading that that grill temperature where your meat is, as opposed to a lid thermometer, which is usually about 15 centimeters above where you're cooking, and you will get a, um, a variance in that, that reading. Okay, once the temperature has been stable for 30 minutes, it's time to put in the food. Now, if you rush that process and don't wait for the temps to be stable, you are going to be chasing those temps throughout the entire cook. So be patient. The JG barbecue offset plate is a thick piece of mild steel and it needs a bit of time to absorb some of that heat. But the reward is well worth it. The fact is, 
it acts as a big heat sink inside your Weber. Okay, so it actually helps control those heat fluctuations that you might get through wind or the temperature in the air. Uh, the other thing is, is when you lift the lid to check on your meat, spritz or whatever, it, it actually helps the, uh, the heat inside the Weber return to cooking temperature a lot quicker. Okay, and the fact is because it actually acts as a heat sink, it actually stops you from using as much fuel. Uh, so in the long run, you actually save by not burning as much fuel through your cooks. And realistically, the only thing you've got to do once you've got your meat in there with the JG Barbecue Offset Plate, is grab a drink, sit back and enjoy. Cheers. Welcome to Shuey's Barbecue. Well, uh, dogs, man, I'm going to strangle it. Oh, oh. Wait for the car to go. Two. Oh. Barbecue offset plate and a Weber for low and slow. I'm going to strangle that dog. Dog's in stereo today. <sighs> Shut your dog up! <sighs>